Hello, my name is Ahuva Schweiki and I would like to paint for you this puppy painting with a painting knife. I will be using two knives, a smaller one, Low Cornell J15, and a larger one, it's made by Global Art, it's made in Italy, Global Art number 13. When I paint my painting, I'd like to tint my canvas first to get rid of the bright white, and I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm tinting the canvas. I'm going to brush it on the canvas and I usually do it ahead of time so when I get up in the morning and come to the canvas to paint it's already dry. If not it's no problem to thin the canvas and then if you want to paint on it right away take your hair dryer and blow dry it and it will be dry in no time. It's very light and very transparent, very transparent color and some of the canvas will look funny. All the strokes, you see the arrows, all the strokes are aimed to this direction where the stem is attached to the flower. So wherever I am, my hand will always stroke toward this center. I prepared the colors for my flower and I'm gonna show them to you. I put very thin coat of paint because other colors will go on top of it and we don't want the
Yeah, it's a little bit better. It's a little, just I needed it a little bit lighter. And you can see I'm stroking over again and no harm done. I want this one to come outside some way. That's good. Now we're finished with this stroke. I'm going to add a little stroke right in here. And I'm ready to do my center. Now the puppies in the center, they have some black spots in the petals and that's the one I'm going to put now. Sometimes when my paint is thick, I add to it a little bit of terpenoid, just a little bit to make it softer. Because every new paint has to be somewhat softer than the paint that's on the canvas. So I'm going to come up and put the black spot, this petal right here. It's a green, and we're going to make it close, very close to the front petals. And they are very detailed, so I will slow down painting them. I'm picking up the paint and hold my support my hand down like little lines going on there. I'll do one at a time and wipe my brush. It's a lighter color green that I'm going to go ahead. This is the slowest part of this painting. toward to pull things toward me this is why I'm turning the canvas and I'm turning toward me
Good. Now I'm ready to do the background. I'm going to use a larger knife. And if in this step I have to go very slow, in the next step I can be free of getting large strokes to put my background color first. I mixed it from ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, cadmium yellow light. Here are my greens, the dark, the medium, the cool color, because the, the puppy have a cool color green leaves, and then the highlight for the leaves. So I'm going to start putting the background color. I got some liquid on my knife. It made it sticky, so I wipe it. And now we're going to do the background color. Away. I put the colors away from my flower. makes it easier and why not if we can do things easier we do it also allows me to spread some of the red that's from the background of the flower to the rest of the canvas Look how bright the flower stands out, just glows. I can shape the flower also with my background from the outside. We call it negative painting when I paint from the outside and shape the inside part. Okay, now I can go freely and put all the colors, all the canvas with this dark color. I don't want much texture or I don't need much texture now. The next step will give texture to
do the same thing. It will turn, go up the 90 degree and then it will curve. Then we have another one going there. This is his, it's 90 degree and it's going to curve this way. Now this one is interesting. I'll make it look like we see the back and we just So many stems of other flowers there that you can see the slight stems against the dark background was beautiful and that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm taking this paint on the side of my knife and pretend that I'm doing like cutting motions. And in a little bit, I'm going to introduce a little bit lighter value. And I go whichever direction. I just, the impression of the stems that I saw going everywhere, that's what I'm trying to duplicate. Now I'm going to a lighter color. I should say lighter value. And I'm ready to put impression of some leaves that the puppy has. They have a certain width of leaf that have jagged edges. And I'll show you how I do it. It's fun where I always love to do leaves of flower because they are so much fun to do in so many different ways. I'm using a lighter green.
the vein, and the vein is usually lighter, and I want the paint softer, so I dip my brush in the turpenoid to get my paint a little bit softer. Now I load the brush, I go to the center right here, and I go with a small cutting motion. Let's see what I'm getting. Okay, it's not light enough. I want it lighter, so let's go and get it lighter. Just a little bit lighter value, so it will show. Let's see, I think I got it now. Yes, I got it now. Here we go. Here's my leaf. And I'm going to do one more, going in this direction. So the way I do it, I drag some rectangular shape of paint. This one is a little bit different value of colors, and they do come in different values and colors. So just drag. And overall, the shape we want to do is rectangular. Not even one, but that's long. Let's see, shall I get it a little bit higher maybe? Yeah. Good. Now I'll give it a point right here. And I'll come in the edges and give it a little point here, little point here, little point here. And come up in here, a little bit point here. And then a vein, a light vein. This vein will have to be very, very light. Let's see if I have the right color for it. Okay, we got it, light vein. Now I want this one to look like it's behind some grass and stems that are growing. So I'm taking my knife and I'm going to run through it with some greens to make it look like it's behind something. And this one is in front. Now I'm going to reinforce the stem for this flower. how the painting looks if we need to do something to it. I'm looking through the mirror to see if I want to change something to it. Maybe we'll add a little bit higher petal in one side. Look again in the mirror and see what's going on there. Okay, we'll have to cut that part of the flower with this extra one. That's good. And I think we're ready to sign this painting and we're done. And I have a small detail brush 
and when I sign the painting, I like to use one of the colors that I have in the painting. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more of my palette knife painting, please go to my website www.ahuvaartist.com where you will see longer videos, instructional videos on my palette knife painting. Thank you.